the whooping cough, but health officials say a lot of people don't actually feel that extreme cough. They only experience a minor one and then end up spreading it. <coughs> the difference between a regular cough and a whooping cough might not actually be that noticeable at first. I think when we use the term whooping cough, people think, oh, if I don't have a whoop, that's not what I have. But most people don't actually have the whoop, so we like to use the pertussis term instead. Whooping cough, or as epidemiologist Amanda Keita Yarbo calls it, pertussis, is spreading in Dane County. People will cough so hard that they can't catch their breath. It interrupts their sleep. Sometimes people vomit after they cough. Um, so those, those are definitely telltale signs. Keita Yarbro says the illness isn't severe for most children, teens, or adults, but can easily be spread and does impact infants, older people, and the immunocompromised. No one has needed to be hospitalized, but you know, I think some of them would definitely say, yeah, I can't sleep at night, I'm coughing really hard. Health officials want people who are experiencing symptoms to call their doctor and possibly get tested because whooping cough can be treated. If your cough is lingering, check, get it checked out. If you know you've been exposed and you develop any sort of symptoms, get those checked out right away. PHMDC says you're contagious for the first four weeks after symptoms start. The health department does not have testing kits, so you'll have to go through your doctor. They're also suggesting people check and see if they've been vaccinated for it. Live in the studio, Marcus Harzival, WMTV 15 News.